Hello people, this is Bear from Wave, and uh, today as you can see we're going to take a look at ETH and most likely Solana. So I figure after Bitcoin, which we covered uh, two, a couple of days ago, maybe three days ago, um, I'll leave you the link popping up. Um, if you want to go, go check that out, uh, I figure it was time to cover some um, altcoins. So here we are with ETH and um, Solana, um, which are, we, we might take a look at Binance too, well, we'll see on the way. Um, as always, I'll try to guide you through my thinking process so you can hopefully uh, get the best out of it. Uh, no saying that I'm the best, uh, but I might not be the worst, hopefully. Um, as always, if you enjoy the content, I would highly appreciate if you subscribe. And if you want to join the Discord, it's absolutely free. And um, yeah, I'll be in there. And um, yeah, let's get started. So here with Eve. Uh, as you can see, this was my main count. Um, a one, two. I don't see this as a wave one. Um, we can go over that. And um, so obviously this is, in terms of degree, it's completely wrong. Um, if this is a one, two, then this is a wave one. Oopsie, why did it? Then this would be, oh, again. Sorry about that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Able to do that. Um, minor. And here, minor. So, wave one of this. Now, to be honest, uh, looking at the geometry of this, um, it, uh, does it look like a wave one? Uh, I gotta be honest, not really, does it? Um, it, it just so sloppy, which I mean, many times we once are, uh, but I know there's something odd about it. Even these minute waves, they're so large, uh, compared for instance, if, if we take, if I take you straight on the daily, um, like if let's say this is, I uh, need to dig deeper. Um, I did it at some point in my life. Let's use a wave two. See how they, they don't really. I, there's something you know if if we use the right look I, I don't really see um, that in here so I'm worried that and um, we'll, we'll see the alternate now the the problem is um, the problem is uh, basically uh, here oh, I don't know if I have some here somewhere So let's delete this. Okay, so let's say three, four, and five here. Uh, the problem is, okay, no invalidation. Um, three might be the shortest. So that could be the problem. Three shorter than one is five longer than three. Yes, so that's not it which um, actually um, makes me think all of this is, is, is wrong, uh, highly possible. So unless, and um, for once, I'm not in favor of one twos, one twos. So unless this is a one, two, one, two, one, two, Unless we are in something like this, which it's not impossible, uh, but might be unlikely. Uh, I would be happy if the market uh, proved me wrong, um, as I do have, um, I do own um, Ethereum, not ETF on, on ETH, uh, I do own ETH. Uh, but uh, yeah, so what I will do is I'll leave you this. Um, so I'll do this menu, some menu at here and here. Um, and then should we use this as minor? Yeah, let's do this minor here. Um, and then here, minute. And let's go with menu at in here. Which, I mean, if this move down didn't happen. If we had a wave one here, then that was, 
up, up until then I was considering something like this, a three and four. Now this complicated things. So either something like this, which again, possible, but I wouldn't um, give it a very high chance of that happening. Um, here we need to fix a few things such as degrees. So one, two, three, this, this. Uh, it was here, right? Five up from June. Yes. Let's put it here and let's call it nest. Okay. So that's one possibility, which arguably unlikely. Uh, the number two is, oh, the, the, the reason why I don't see this is one is because I count this as, which I think it's, is it here? Yes. So A, B, C, and here, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. Give me a second. I knew it. I don't like this minute and here one, two, three, four, and five. So I see three ways up, not five. That's why I don't count it as a wave uh, one. It's as simple as that. Okay, so let me say so ABC, ABC obviously goes with us saying, hopefully. Um, and then here, that's when we get into troubles. Now, uh, to be honest, what if one, two, three, four, five, that's also possible. Um, it will obviously mean that we five, we need to be the shortest, but it's possible. Um, so also that's another thing we need to keep into consideration. Um, and then getting back on the daily, looking at some other alternates. Um, obviously, this is what comes to mind. Okay. Right. Which could you argue way five is here? Hmm. I rather have it like this, to be honest. W, X, and then Y. So X would be, um, see, that's also another thing. A, B, C somewhere. Um, also, one thing I forgot to mention. So let's do this. Um, I'll go on to another, let's say, more uh, bullish alternate, which reflects um, one thing we talked about, um, Bitcoin. Um, so let's do this. So let's get rid of this, of allow me. Uh, so let's say we have two is here. Mm. So let's call this, uh, let's call this two in the making. Okay. And let's do this. One two. Okay. So let's call it two done. Okay. And let's do this. One, two, three, four, and five. And this would have to be minute right here. And here's where why I mentioned Bitcoin. Uh, and Bitcoin, one of the counts um, basically suggests that we might have had a truncated fifth. And here's your potential truncated fifth. Um, you could also argue, no, you couldn't, never mind. But th that, that that's one possibility. Um, which to be honest, I don't know, it, 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 if we follow Bitcoin, then we can see upside. 
because on, on Bitcoin we're we're looking for potential more upside. Uh, but it's on the other hand, if we also have a more bearish or conservative, call them whatever you want, um, views on Bitcoin and that forecast a bit more downside to come. Um, so yeah, it, 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 it's not the best looking chart. Um, I'm aware of that. Uh, but uh, it just looks confusing. Uh, here, for instance, we sit at pretty much, yeah. We're now sitting on equality, as you can see, probably. Um, so I guess we're going to find out. But uh, those are the main counts that I see, which are many. And I can be confusing. So usually when, when they're many, I don't trade it. Um, now, when it comes to trading, again, obviously none of this was or is financial advice. Uh, but when it comes to trading, I like to trade what at least I think I'm confident on. Which, you know, the fact that I think I'm confident doesn't mean it's going to happen. But I do have a strong level of conviction based on um, whatever factors uh, that my analysis will become reality, right? So that being said, let's move on to Solana. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I am planning to do a video to answer all your questions um, once a week. Um, so yeah, feel free to let me know down in the comments. Um, as well as if you enjoy this video, if you want, you know, Comments are always welcome. So here, the this is the bullish count, uh, ignoring, kind of ignoring this spike here. One, two, three, four, five into wave one. Now, um, if this would need to be, everything would need to be moved one degree lower if we are in wave three, right? Uh, because let's say we are in wave four, minor four, we're completing it, which uh, Solana at the best, one of the best recoveries after the crash, um, I'm going to call it crash, you know, call it whatever you want. Um, after this move down here for, for, from Friday, you know, for last week, uh, Solana had the best recovery so far. Um, and, uh, it looks like a, th uh, we're going into that. Uh, what I want to say is, uh, everything should be moved one degree lower. Actually, I'm, I'm going to do it uh, right now. Um, as there's no point in keeping it that way. So let's delete that. Um, and this would be minor one. So obviously this is super bullish. Is it going to happen? I have no idea. Could it happen? Yes, will happen. I have no clue. Um, but it's possible. Um, so let's do this. So for in the making, probably something in the intraday. Um, okay, so the bullish here. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this. Um, the bearish is basically something like this. Which is still possible, as you can see. So, potential flat was up. Five down, A, B, C. Um, as you can see here, still makes sense. You can still count it as a three-wave move. Oopsie, um, so I need this to be placed in bullish. Okay, um, and then downside, right? That would be the analysis. But if this is a five wave move, uh, we cannot pass. Obviously, if this is a five wave move, then I'm saying the ABC is a zigzag. So this will be invalidation. I'm bearish. Oh, let's place it here. Um, so. Uh, honestly, uh, usually uh, zigzags don't retrace that much, so it's more likely it was a flat. Um, if it was, you know, a corrective, uh, which makes sense, basic uh, or or a complex, which makes sense again, uh, uh, if we think about the bullish kind, right? We're saying this is corrective. Um, if it, it's five way down, is then to start the beginning of the trend. Or that is wave A or, or one. If you have five waves um, from from here, from like say the starting point, then you have the beginning of something. Um, one thing, uh, one reason why I didn't like this as a five wave move is that every impulse wave, so five three one, they uh, you can see you can see how they're pretty much all the same length, which is unusual. Um, oftentimes, if not many times, I mean almost always. Um, one of the five is going to be extended, should be extended. Um, so 
that already was a, a red flag, as you may say. Um, so that was why. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stick to my bullish count. Uh, now, this could be, I'm going to be honest, this could be just a three wave move. So sort of ABC, and then we, you know, move like Forex. That's possible. Uh, but I have no idea what is going to happen. So for the time being, I am seeing, I am forecasting. Um, now this obviously needs to be, it's some work to be done as I moved uh, the degrees. So allow me. Okay. Uh, this would be micro as it was a complex overall. Um, and this right here. Uh, no, which one did it need to go to? This one. No, I think I raised the right, the wrong one. No, it's the right one. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so here, let's focus on this. So. Uh, So you could see this as A, B, C. You can see this is an A, B, C, um, sharp C. Um, this would be A, B, C. Um, and uh, as I said, uh, the one that retraced the most, um, pretty sure. Um, and yeah, it looks like uh, 150 is a um, key level. Um, so as long as we stay above 150, uh, we can look for further upside. So we're gonna find out, um, ideally soon might come a correction, if a correction. So uh, we'll have to see, but you can see how 150 has been respected in the past, right? So you see, I'm not lying, 150 is important. It's midway between 100 and 200. And as you can see, if you draw a line at 100, look at here. And if you draw a line at 200, guess where support was? Oh, sorry, resistance. Guess where we topped? Does that remind you anything about what I said two months ago in the NASDAQ about the 20,000? Look at what the NASDAQ done at 20,000. Um, anyways, uh, enough uh, flexing. Um, just, just, just kidding. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's the way I see it. Um, and um, I'll keep you posted. Um, and um, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, I will, I might do the uh, Bitcoin or the stock market soon next. So um, yeah, that's um, that, that's that's about it. And I'll see you next one. Thanks.